Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Journey Podcast. I'm your host, Marco Peralta, and in this podcast, we will focus on the success stories of coaches and players of all sports and all levels. For our first episode, we have Ruben Niebla, the assistant pitching coach of the Cleveland Indians. Niebla is a native of Calexico, California, and is entering his 26th season in the major leagues, six as a player and 20 as a coach. This is his journey to the big stage, his impact to his local community back in California, and his plans for the future. So I'm here with Ruben Niebla, the assistant pitching coach of the Cleveland Indians. It's an honor to be here at the spring training facility. Coach, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. Thanks. So, Thanks for having me. Thank you for uh, for the access or just the, the time for us at this interview. Up. It's, I know you're a really, really busy guy. I know that for sure. <laughs> um, so, Coach, the first question for you is um, you're from the Imperial Valley, so mm-hmm. you come from an area that's like – to some people it's really tough to get out sure but you got a, a gateway to make something in your life of being a baseball player and now you're the assistant pitching coach of the cleveland indians mm-hmm. how did that happen how did you get your star and just how has been the journey so far for you well uh when doors open i think i took a step forward to walk through them um you know after a six-year playing career and then going into an opportunity to coach and you know ended up doing that and you got to have the right people that are supporting you that are behind you and are putting a good word for you but you make that happen yeah. and so it's it's been a it's been a nice journey here with the Cleveland Indians uh, definitely uh, something that that is you know I'm very grateful for very humbled for and uh, you know I'm just looking forward to being here for a long long time uh, coming from the Imperial Valley it's uh, it's you know it's an honor for me to represent the valley yeah um, just be in the forefront of that so even for the 26 years in the Major League Baseball you've been involved in, mm-hmm. you um, throughout your career you've helped out kids back home, mm-hmm. uh, like in IBBN, walk, walk, and other types of, of ways. Right. How does that make you feel when you give back to the community or just seeing that you are able to be an inspiration or a model for a kid that wants to get to this level? Well, I think it's my responsibility to do that. Uh, that's really the way I felt uh, ever since I signed my first professional contract. I think it was my responsibility because I, growing up, we didn't have that figure uh, coming up. I think that um, that motivation, uh, hopefully that just the vision of somebody seeing somebody like, like myself in the community, uh, working with kids, giving back, I think it's, you know, hopefully it motivates people to, you know, pursue their careers, whatever it is. Uh, and any aspect of life is pursue pursue what you want to do and, and never give up and work hard towards it. Did you ever have those moments that you felt like, you know what, uh, I'm not going to get any more far in this position, or do you feel like I should like go back to the valley and do something else? If you went through those moments, what was going through your mind, through your mind so you could bounce out of them and just keep doing what you're doing right now? Well, I think the ultimate goal was always to be in the big leagues, whether it was a player. Uh, when you were a player, it was as a player, and then when you become a coach, it's as a coach. So um, just trying to achieve the dream uh, of getting there and, and what does it take? You know, being very curious about how can I get better? How can I continue to improve? What, what adjustments do I need to make? So I think that's what the motivating factor was here uh, for me to stay in the game and continue growing and continue learning. Um, that, that has really uh, helped me stay motivated. Uh, obviously, the vision in front of me is the major leagues and, and luckily I get another opportunity at it. So two more questions. Uh, coach, from here in 10 or 20 years, where do you see, your, where do you see yourself? Like still off the major leagues or where do you see yourself in 20 years? Well, not sure. 20 years, hopefully retired and enjoying life. Okay. Uh, <laughs> 10 years, hopefully still at the major league level, uh, pitching coach somewhere. Um, hopefully here with the Cleveland Indians. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, take it one year at a time. I have my three-year goals, five-year goals, 10-year goals. But, um, you know, at the end of the day, it's, it's still achieving the dream and being uh, very successful at it. Awesome. Thank you, Coach. Uh, is there anything you would like to share or just say to the people back home uh, viewing this video, people who are in, that want to be in your position or they just want to get to this level, anything specific you want to say to them? Well, I think I've said a lot about, you know, achieving – uh, your dreams and, and reaching your goals. I think continue working and striving and, and every day have that vision, have that windshield in front of you of where you want to go so that you can have a clear uh, path to, to how to get there. So, you know, I just want to thank all of you guys for the support you guys showed me uh, in the Imperial Valley. I think it's, I think it's awesome. It's very humbling um, with the camps, with IBBN, with uh, anything else we endeavor in. Um, 
the Valley has always been very supportive and I owe you guys a lot and I thank you guys very much. And that was Ruben Niebla, the assistant pitching coach of the Cleveland Indians. And this is the end of the podcast. This episode of The Journey has been such a great one and we look forward to the next one. So everyone have a great day and we'll see you soon.